In ProPresenter 6, your presentations are called playlists. The playlists you design are in the lower left corner of the screen. I have one here simply identified by year, month, and day. Let's create a brand new one to show you how to build them yourself. In order to create a playlist, you simply go down to the lower left corner and you can click on the plus button. It gives you several options. We're going to ignore all of them except the second one down from the top, which is New Playlist. If you click on it, it titles it New Playlist, a bit like how Windows does New Folder. Uh, we'll, we'll call this, uh, uh, let's give it a date. Let's say 2016-1010, uh, uh, a fictitious date. Okay, there we go. I have it by name. I could put in uh, anything I want to in terms of identification. I could call it Christmas or next Sunday or whatever I like. And on the right side, when you click on the playlist, you see what's inside it. Uh, the one on the left that's currently there, if I click on that, I see all these components. My new one is empty. How do you populate the playlist? Well, let me show you. All you need to do is drag and drop. You go up to your library, and in the library, I have 86 items currently. I will just take a couple songs here. I'll take Amazing Grace, hold it down with the left mouse button, drag and drop. And let me take another one. Let's do Away in the Manger. We'll take that. We'll drag it and let go. And um, we can use a doxology. I'll take that and drag it and let it go. And that's as simple as it is. Now, in the library, you'll also have um, information relating to uh, sermon material or other presentation material you want. It's categorized, you notice, in the light type as what we have here. Here's another song I'll just drag and drop. And if I have a PowerPoint presentation or anything of that point, um, let me see, I have one here. Uh, go up, I'll do this on a PowerPoint here. And there's other things you can drag in there that you might not be aware of. You can also drag in audio files. So if I want to have an audio file after the service is over, what I can do is I can click on the audio icon in my toolbar and then I'll take the uh, going into my post service music and I have blessed be your name all I need to do is drag and drop that there's other ways to do that you can actually add that to a particular slide we'll show you that feature in another lesson but I'll click on the audio to close the audio bin and if you decide you want something in a different place, you can simply click on it, hold down the left mouse button and drag it. You'll see a little bar show up and I can reposition anything in the service any way I want. Now, if I want to see <coughs> the <coughs> whatever I have in the service, if the contiguous is a light color in the background, it means I see only one item. If I click on it again, it will turn dark and then I can see every single item in my playlist. So now I get to see exactly what I have. I have Amazing Grace, all the slides for Away in the Manger, my PowerPoint, my doxology, and my music. So everything I want is there, and I can arrange it any way I want. Again, I click on the contiguous button, so it has a white background, and now I can see only one item at a time. And uh, so you have that, that option, figuring out how you want to do it. It's that easy to build a playlist. So enjoy the opportunity to experiment with this feature of ProPresenter 6 as you build your presentations. Thank you so much. We trust that this lesson in creating a playlist in ProPresenter 6 has been useful to you. If so, we would like to ask you to like us and subscribe here at the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.